What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today I'm going over what you should do when you first get your saddle. But first, check out some of these cool pictures of me doing cool stuff. So you've got your saddle. You are officially part of the saddle hunting nation. That is exciting. Well, what should you do to learn your system? First of all, go through some of my other videos and you will find uh, detailed instructions on tethers and bridges and lineman belts and how to get comfortable and all the things that you need to know to be a successful saddle hunter. You can find most of that stuff on my saddle hunting channel. Second, you need to be a member of saddlehunter.com. That is the world's largest community of saddle hunters. If you're not a member there, you need to do that right now. Go join the forum. There are a lot of guys there that are able, willing, and, and eager even to help you learn what you need to know to be a successful saddle hunter. But there are a few things that you can't learn online. You've got to do them in person, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get familiar with your saddle now that you've got it. First thing you need to do is set up at ground level. You only want to be a few inches off the ground, 8 to 10 inches. In case you fall, you're not going to die. You're just going to get hurt, and your pride is going to be a little wounded, but you're not going to really get hurt. Uh, so set up low to the ground, and what you're going to want to do is get familiar with all the parts of your saddle. Get familiar with how your bridge works. How does it slide back and forth in the carabiner? How does your lineman belt attach to the tree? Is it easy to maneuver with your, with your friction hitch, either your prussic knot or your Blake's hitch? Uh, do you have a Ropeman 1? Does, how does that work with your lineman belt? You know, adjust it and get tighter, looser to the tree, figure out how to flip the lineman belt up the tree. Those are the types of things that you're wanting to do. Get familiar with all the systems. You need to tie in your tether. Tie in your tether at different heights. Tether height is one of the things that most directly relates to comfort in your saddle. Generally guys find a forehead or eye level tether hookup to be most comfortable. But you may be different. Maybe you like a tether a little bit higher or a little bit lower. There's no wrong answer, but now is the time to find that out. Six inches above the ground, not in November when you're 20 feet up and you're hunting Mr. Big. Do that now, get that practice in now, and it'll pay big dividends later in the year. Set up at the tree at ground level, figure out all of the different adjustments on your saddle, Learn how to get comfortable. Do you want it up underneath your butt? Do you like it up higher? Are you a leaner and a sitter? I did a whole video on leaning and sitting. You can check that out to figure out the different positions you can be in when you're saddle hunting. But when you're down low, you're free to experiment with all of these things and not get hurt. That's the most important thing. The other thing that I like to tell people to do is when you're low, grab your bow. Practice some of the different shots. Learn how to maneuver on your platform. If you're using a ring of steps platform versus a seat style platform, uh, the, the shot maneuvering is a little bit different. Sometimes you might want to walk around the tree, whereas on a seat style you pivot more as opposed to walking around. So put your platform six inches above the ground. Learn how to work it. Learn how to move around on your platform. That is super, super important for both safety and for your success in the saddle. It makes a huge difference. And then the last thing that I like to tell people to do is a little bit crazy, but flip upside down. Now is the time to learn to trust your gear. Put your legs on both sides of the saddle, flip around, try to spin out, and try to fall out of your saddle. And what you're gonna find is that you basically can't. When you do it right, when your tether is hooked up appropriately and, and you're clipped into the bridge and everything is the way that it's supposed to work, you can't fall out of these things and what that's going to do is produce a lot of confidence for you later in the year when you're up at 20 feet high and you're, you're, you're trusting your life to your saddle and to your ropes. You're going to know that you can't fall out of this thing, but do it low on the ground where you can't get hurt and flip around, try to come out of it, and you're gonna find that your saddle is super, super safe. So that's it for me today. Hopefully that made sense, and hopefully that helped you understand a little bit more about how to get familiar with your saddle setup. Hey, if this helped, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and watch some of my other stuff. I've got a lot of saddle hunting videos and kayak fishing videos and hiking and backpacking. So if you're into those things, please check out some of my other videos. That means a lot to me. And then uh, finally, do something to go hunting or hiking or fishing or camping or backpacking. Just do something to get outdoors.